Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm sharing my 5 favorite chess openings. Because it's 5, I'm going to be breaking it up into 3 chess openings for white and 2 for black. So let's get right into the first chess opening for white, which is probably one of the most widely used and safe and sound openings called the London system. It starts with d4 and after d5 your goal is to get both of these pieces out and it doesn't really matter in which order. Let's say you get the bishop out first. You're going to go and be expected uh, from your opponent to play this move out, uh, moving the knight to f6, where you play the other move. Um, and same would go if you decided first to take out your knight, uh, and then after this move, play uh, the, the bishop uh, over here to f4. This is a really safe and sound um, structure for you, and you have ideas of enabling um, both your queen and your bishop. Um, so, really nice uh, opening and let's go in and go into the next opening, this one as black. So this is this opening, uh, it's called the French defense, and it's again really widely used, and it's one of the better defenses against e4, um, because it just gives you a really nice structure for your pawns, and uh, although white uh, temporarily has two pawns in the center squares, um, that won't last after um, pushing this uh, pawn up here, uh, where it's supported by multiple pieces. So a really nice system um, to use in your games. And now let's move on to the next one. Uh, here uh, we're going to be showing you the next opening, which is called uh, the Roy Lopez opening. And this one, it's probably the most common uh, opening um, in any level of chess, whether it's just beginners um, or grandmasters even. This position is just such a great position to build off of. So let's, let me show you. So it's, it's e4 and then uh, e5 from your opponent. And then you go ahead and play f3 and obviously go c5, c6 to protect this pawn here um, on e5. Um, and then you go ahead and, and, and bring out your bishop here, um, not necessarily pinning the knight, uh, but if this pawn were to move, then it would uh, turn into a pin. And this, like I said, it's just such a great position to build off of. And, and white is just very happy in this position, already being able to castle next move and uh, having some nice minor pieces um, already in development. Now, let's get on with the next opening. Um, here it's a defense, like the other uh, defense that I showed you. Um, and here it's called the Sicilian defense. And this is actually my favorite um, response to e4. In the Sicilian defense, you go ahead and after e4, play c5. And um, this is great, although you're not grabbing any um, space in the center with actual pieces there, you do go, go and get some territories. And here's the probably the most common line that you're going to uh, find yourself in. Um, and you can see that after this, it's just a really happy position for you. Um, by moving this knight out here, you're putting pressure on this pawn. And after uh, white either protects it with you know the pawn or the queen um, or even the bishop realistically with any piece, you can go ahead and, and even play this move. And you're just you're starting um, to put some pressure on white. Um, and it's just a really great um, position for you. Now, obviously, the, the main, um, I guess, benefit from this is that now you have two central pawns for white's one central pawn. And it's a really fast way for you to develop your piece with tempo. Let's move on to the last opening, um, which is actually my favorite opening for white, which is uh, considered the Queen's Gambit declined variation. Sometimes it becomes the accepted variation, um, but for the most part, you're going to see yourself in the declined variation. So let me explain. So basically, it starts with d4, and I much prefer d4 over e4. It just leads to so many things. Um, but instead of going for the London system after this uh, e5 move, or sorry, d5 move, um, you go ahead and play c4. Um, this is called the Queen's Gambit. And if black accepts it, then I made a full video about how you can completely capitalize on this mistake, because it is a mistake. So if you guys want to go and check that video out um, to understand this side, um, then go ahead and press uh, the icon that's going to pop up right now on your screen. Um, but this video is just going to cover the, the main thing that you're going to see, which is going to be e6. This is probably the most common move. Um, and now you take out your knight. Uh, black's probably going to take out his knight, and you can go ahead and pin the knight. Um, and even if black plays a move like this, unpinning the knight is just a very structurally safe position for you um, with many benefits. You have ideas of, of pushing out the knight um, to not only develop a piece but support this. Um, you have ideas of even fianchettoing the, the bishop and preparing to castle earlier. Um, and so it's just a really, really nice position for you. 
and uh, and there's many traps um, that you can yeah you can play with this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you guys go to the comments and leave any openings that you guys enjoy that you think I forgot off of this list. And so if if I ever make a part two, uh, maybe five more openings, I'll be sure to include those. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.